Good afternoon my dear children welcome to 7th standard biology online class to learn new topic the nervous system lesson number 5 the nervous system what is mean by nervous system in our organ lot of organ system is there the one of the organ system it is called a nervous system the nervous system is responsible for the control and coordinations of the life process and activities of a living organisms okay so the nervous system to control all the organs and activities basis okay the next higher animal have a specialized cell called a nerve cells or neuron a specialized cell structure is there the name is nerve cells or another name called neuron another name is what neuron which form a network for communications between the brain and entire body this network is called a the nervous systems network system network system or is called a nervous system all vertebrates have a well developed nervous system all vertebrate have a well developed nervous systems example lion fox human being dog okay etc the brain spinal cord and a network of nerves most higher animal have another systems through which the brain has sent message for the control and coordinations of various activities various activities it is called the endocrine system why it is called a endocrine system because inner part endocrine means what the inside process inside process that's why it is called a endocrine system we will learn about this system in the next chapter okay let's see that the human nervous system is a two types human nervous system so how many types is a two types first one the central nervous system central nervous system cns it is called a cns second one peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system pns pns peripheral nervous system see the picture the nervous system a human nervous systems all the parts all the organs to connected with the brain cns first one the cns consists of the brain and the spinal cord why okay axis part the central part spinal cord they connected with the brain to control it is it is become a axis line so that's why it is called a central nervous system pns the branches okay side uh, side nervous systems uh, the pns consists of the network of nerves that connected the rest of the body to the cns rest of the bodies means hand nerves and uh, leg nerves so this is called a pns peripheral nervous system let us study the nervous system in greater detail see the neuron structure neuron the head part like structure no the center nucleus cell body or we called cyton cyton then dendrite the branch of dendrite myelin sheet axin the center 
tail like structure you no know? so that is a axon last ending part it is called the axon terminal okay node of a renewer node of renewer let's see the one by one neuron is a cell the cell structure a specialized cell structure okay even uh, you can see the red blood cell it is a round shape or oval shape in the red blood cell but in the nerve system uh, nerve cells have a specialized cell structure okay so that that is called a neurons each new neuron has a nucleus containing cell body a called a cyton or soma okay soma the round shape is there no so that is called a nucleus the cell body is there no the cell body is another name is what cyton okay end like structure no cyton or soma then another one from the cyton arises a fiber like projection called a tendrons or tendrites tendrons or tendrites the branch like structure it is a fiber like okay fiber na theriyala normally so that is called a fiber like projection called a tendrons or tendrites this carry impulses message encoded as a electrical signal to the cyton passing the message to the cyton then a long tube like fiber called a axon axon the tail like structure no the tail like structure so that is called a axon why it is called axon because it is in the center okay center so that's why it is called axon arises from a slightly thickened region of the cyton called as axon axon hillock axon hillock the axon extend outward from the cyton and end in many branches many branches each of these branches end in the knob like swelling called a synaptic knob or terminal terminal button okay terminal axon terminal button the axon have some nerves are covered with the fatty white substance called a myelin okay the yellow color covered you no know, the axon the nerves are covered with the fatty white substance called a myelin that's why it is called a myelin sheet is another name is called myelin sheet nerves with the axon that have a, a myelin sheet are called a myelin nerves while neurons with the axon or myelinated neurons conduct impulses faster than the unmyelinated neurons they receive impulses that tendrites and uh, transmit impulses through the axonic end axonic end on the basis of the sources and uh, distension of the impulses they carry neurons are classified into sensory and motor sensory and motor see the picture sensory organs the sensory organs was present in, in the skin part the sensory organs was present in the skin part 
somebody to touch to feel it okay when because the sensory organs was in the skin part rendered cell body or cyton then come to the axon at last the end of the part to inter neuron to inter neuron the sensory neuron carry impulses from the sense organ such as the skin and other the brain and the spinal cord organs to motor neurons carry impulses from the brain and the spinal cord to effective organs the stimulus as you know is something that produced the response in an organism these motor neurons that have their cell bodies located in the spinal cord are usually involved in the reflex action which we will discuss later okay students now i'll show the video then you can understand very well.